First tonight, a South Aussie father's holiday hell. When you get travel insurance before going on a trip, you assume you're covered for most things, especially events that are out of your control. But for one man, his free credit card insurance has ended up costing him thousands. Here's Tiffany Warren. Basically, I paid $3,000 to stay at home for two weeks. There are a lot of exemptions and clauses that might trip you out. When Warren Turner booked a holiday to China for his wife's birthday, he couldn't wait to take off. We were leaving from Melbourne, Melbourne to Sydney, Sydney to Shanghai, but uh, we had to get our own means to, um, to Melbourne. But on the day of the trip... It got cancelled in the morning, the day we were going to go, at 4.30. We were on a 7 o'clock flight to Melbourne uh, due to aircraft maintenance. Unable to get on another flight at such short notice, the pair never made it to Melbourne and missed all their connecting flights. It was a tour group um, and a 10-day ten, ten package, so they went to different destinations each day and you know, couldn't, um, couldn't catch up with the rest of the, the trip. While Warren was devastated he lost out on the experience, he didn't think he would lose the money as well. Well, I thought I'd be OK because I had um, travel insurance. That was complimentary insurance on my credit card through ANZ with Alliance. What he didn't realise? Aircraft maintenance wasn't covered in the policy. So when he lodged his claim, it was knocked back. I, I was actually dumbfounded. I mean, just to you know, have peace of mind that you got your insurance and it's written on the, on the website you go to, it says if there's cancellation, uh, you're covered. And um, to be declined, it was, it was horrible. When he was given a copy of the product disclosure statement, he tried to find the clause applying to his situation. I mean, I could read it in two days, but to understand it will probably take me two months. Even the website didn't spell it out tells you a few things that are covered but doesn't say what's not covered there's nothing at all written about um, aircraft maintenance and I think that would be a big issue. Now Warren's dealing with the emotional baggage. Yeah it still affects me a little bit today thinking that companies can do this and just get away with it it's just it's outrageous to be honest. He's hoping Allianz will reconsider as the policy did state it would cover him if he was unable to travel for unforeseen circumstances. I hope that Alliance will come to the party and, and pay what um, my claim, which was out of my control. And he won't be using complimentary credit card insurance next time he travels. I'll probably just have to uh, go through an uh, insurance broker, someone that really knows what they're on about, and I'll ask the questions direct. One of the key things to remember with credit card travel insurance that it's not necessarily free. Uh, you are paying for that insurance through the annual fee and often through higher interest rates. Experts warn not to get caught out by the fine print on credit card insurances. You might have to activate your policy before you go. You might have to pay for part of your trip on the card before you go. Some of the activities that you plan to do might not be covered and you might not be covered for the full time that you're away if you're on a particularly long trip. And there are lots of clauses you may not be covered for if you're pregnant or if you've got a pre-existing illness, if you're rock climbing, scuba diving, skiing or any kind of high risk activity. So when it comes down to which policy is best? So it's hard to say one stacks up better than the other, but if you are getting a standalone policy before a trip, you are more likely to go through and look at what is and isn't covered uh, ahead of time rather than just relying on credit card insurance and hoping that your trip is included.